All right. Back up. See if everyone has returned. Now, who would like to go? Next position. So just as their Imperial prey began to disappear, Sika turned Executioner's fortunes away with the mysterious resources. Whatever it is, there's nothing to scoff at, according to the tavern keeper husband. The crew has been indulging themselves as never before, but no amount of drink seemed to loosen their tongues as to how they were. For my part, they spoke with a reporter from the Harbour Herald. Probably Keisha has been investigating the secret of the, the execution's good fortune and making little headway. Mainly, the executioners did not wish the nature of the business to be public. And I think I may know why. The course of making inquiries at Hawker's Alley, an interesting fact came to light, just as the executioners began to enjoy out of fortunes, the price of crystal dropped decline. A sudden fall in demand, I was told. Curious, I contacted Hori Boulder, who had been watching the movements of the beast tribes. My, my suspicions were proven correct. Despite other worsening relations between the beast tribes and the Dalaskers, neither Titan nor Leviathan had made an appearance of late. Assume that the kobolds and Sahagan lack the means with which to summon them. Do you mean to say the executioners are divesting them of their crystals? All indications can point to that conclusion, yes. We have no hard evidence as yet. Investigate further. Agreed. So how do we proceed? Oh, I have an eye on the DM of fact. In fact, I've already taken the liberty of making certain provisions. During my inquiries, a disgruntled merchant informed me that a wholesaler of crystals was had received Recently we arrived in Limsa Liminsa, offering wares at prices far undercut in the competition. After asking around, I was able to gain an introduction, and will shortly pose as a fire bid to establish dominance. The man is a due to be, be at Oskin's embrace in Lower Venusia shortly. I suggest we make our way there at once. And peace appears to be our merchant. Wish me luck. If he truly is in league with the bloody executioners, would like be wary of those I led to the Admiral. Lions, least of all. <clears throat> Compared to yours and Eskers, mine is unfamiliar face. Let me play fire. Raha is right. Even if we aren't recognized in sight, we took to we look too genteel to be mixed by and teal. Well, give it to you, Graha. What business with me, Catboy? 
I <clears throat> build a crystal wholesaler. But I am, but I'm no merchant, so what do you want the crystals for? I, uh, um... Look at us! I see your weaponsmith, am I right? You need crystals to make staffs like that fine specimen you got there. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's right. I've indeed a weapons bit. I use not but the finest materials. I bid you show me your wares. Well, you, you don't invite just anybody to. It takes time to establish trust, you are. I have a large and urgent commission. As the quality is satisfactory, I will not quibble over the price. All right. It's plain you're not any crystal. Crystal adorned your staff, so it make an exception. Come with me. Seems to be working. Let's follow him. They went into that tunnel, might be now. You won't find any finer, especially not for the price. I would expect to pay more than double quality. How could they become so cheap? There's nothing unlawful about them if you're worrying. They're from Goromoro, if you mean you take my meaning. Just as pure as it gets. Won't be disappointed, so how much do you Taken from the kobolds, just affected. That's enough. Get your gobs and turn around slowly. I am Sicard. Active captain of the bloody executioners. No need to introduce yourselves. You know who you are, Scions. And we all know you've been chatting to the Emerald. Got ours and ears everywhere. See? Seems but we've been the only true pirate crew left in Impsa. So we establish you aren't here to buy crystals. The question is, what are you here? You bowed to reveal that yourself to us without knowing our objective. That would explain your swift rise. Oh, that would explain your swift rise of power. We have spoken plain, so I shall return the favor. We came here to learn why the bloody executioners pose the admiral's. Will. We have our answer. The limps and laments make peace with the kobolds who would. Also, 
found wealth. That's right. Just to remind you, though, we ain't breaking any rules here. Law forbids us from attacking any vessel, not allowing the Imperial flag, but it says nothing about beast. Only reason we keep our operation nice and quiet is because we don't want no one taking our business. Listen to the end, will you? What it's worth, I have the highest respect for you and yours. Him, especially. Well, the mainstream's been worrying and dirt about dirtying their fancy red clobber. Now, you lot, st Storm Ogar Moro. And bad blaming find himself. Raised the mug to you when I heard the news. And now you're following in off in your footsteps, making sure the beastmen never summon the stinking gods again. Practically your successors. When there's still Imperial when there are still Imperial ships about, we did our bit for Limsa and went after them. Guardian's gone, there's no one left to ply our trade and beastmen. So let us have it, eh? Contentious, though, some may find if you true, you have broken no laws. That being so, no reason to not take your case directly to the Admiral's face. Unless the acting captain of the only true pirate crew, sir, have some other cause to hide in a case. Hmm. Said. Said indeed. All right, I'm here with the Admiral. We even have the venue. That's Delicia. But she will send down an invitation. Bullshit. I've had some passing knowledge of the prior events. I have yet yet ill qualified to meddle in the Minson affairs. But it's not my place to argue with Sakard. Heard much as I would have liked to. Nay, it is for the Admiral to deal. The bloody execution is both. Bringing them to the negotiation table. But I don't know about you, but it would have all I could do to stop myself punching Sakard in a smirking face when that Ever he opened his mouth. I saw myself the hunter, but it turns out I was the prey. I'm reminded that the pirate powers of Linsa are not to be trifled with. It's all well that ends well. Graha's timely provocation had the desired effect, and Sakard has, has arranged to a meeting. Let us hurry back to Limsa and Minsa and pass on the invitation to. Let's go see your companions are already pulled into the command room. Will you be joining them? Welcome back, my friends. What new? Exposition. So, they have been stinging crystals from the cobalt. My thanks for solving the mystery and securing the meat slides. Suffice it to say, I accept Sikard's invitation, and now would have you join me as my guest. The future of Limsa hangs upon the outcome of this meeting. I would have the science present to bear witness. Look! 
Goku's come crawling. Traitor! You can shove your piece! Welcome aboard, Admiral. I'll wager you don't remember me. Sickard, acting captain of the bloody executioners, at your service. It was kind of you to invite us. Now, if Captain Hillfear has a message for me, I bid you speak it. We have just the one demand. That you forget this bilge about making peace with the Beastmen. Ours is a nation of pirates. Always has been, always will be. Deny us our right to plunder, and you deny who we are. Too bloody right! Pirates till we die! What we want, we take! Piracy has no place in our future. What she say? Pirates have no place. Our nation has prospered through piracy, tis true. Yet it is but one part of our long and storied history. Centuries ago, our ancestors led a failed rebellion and were driven from their homes with little more than the shirts on their backs. In fear of their lives, they sailed south until they came to these shores. Finding the land occupied by kobolds, however, they were forced to turn to piracy in order to survive. But not so long ago, when the Empire threatened to crush everything we'd built, we set aside piracy and joined hands with our neighbors. This too was in order to survive. And survive we did. Time after time we fought the Empire, and time after time we won, and through trade with our newfound allies, we prospered more than we ever did through pillaging and plundering. The Empire teeters on the brink of collapse. Ere long, provinces like Whirlit and Bosia and many others will regain their freedom. When they do, our matchless fleet will lead the world in a new golden age of commerce. The tides favor us, and the ocean beckons with her vast bounty. But if we cling to the old ways, this great ship we call Limsa will trade the boundless seas for a lagoon. So we scorn the world's wealth for a plundered pittance then. Or shall we embrace change and thrive like our ancestors before us? The choice is yours. But if we are to prosper in the coming age, the whole of Vilbrand must become our ship, and a kobold and Sahagin our crewmates. Rousing words. Might even be some truth in them. But pirating's all we've ever known. And we ain't about to give it up just because you say so. Still, we're all the Minsons here and no one wants a war. So where does that leave us? Long before you became Admiral, I heard you was captain of the League of Lost Bastards. That true? If so, You'd know how we pirates settle our differences. A duel. Very well. As Admiral of Limsa Laminsa, I accept your challenge. I love Mirwob. I love it so much.
this ain't over. Not till one of us is dead. Finish the job. Or I will. It's the captain. Captain Elfair. Ye fool. Twas over afore it began. Captain. Seems the whelps have been yapping while their master was abed. Listen well, all of ye. Since the signing of the Galadian Accord, we all of us have been part of the same crew. The crew with a good ship Limsa Laminsa. At the helm of that ship is the Admiral. And tis she who decides where we sail. Was I not clear on that point? Or did you forget whose deck you stand on? Nay. Then what in the seven hells are you playing at? It's all we know, Captain. If we ain't pirates, what are we? You're bloody idiots is what ye are. Idiots with your own lives ahead of ye. Ye can do anything ye want. Be anything ye want. We're pirates, I, And we pirates love our loot. But that ain't our first love. Our first love is the sea. The sea! And what she brings us! Freedom! So hold fast to that. Let the brine-crusted usk that stands before you now be the last of them as knew naught save out of steel. And make of yourselves a new breed of pirate! Lad. I made ye me right hand because I saw something in ye. And I still do. You have the makings of a captain. All you lack's the belief. Well now, it seems we're of one mind after all. <laughs> Apologies for the misunderstanding, Admiral. We're with ye, wherever ye be headed. You have my thanks, Hilfir. <coughs> Your choice of dueling pistol did not escape my notice. Good old Annihilator. Ender of many a proud pirate's voyage. <laughs> Mistbeards vanished into legend, and it won't be long before I take my rest in the depths. Yet be that as it may, the old ways can only truly die when we've dealt the Empire the telling blow. There'll be stormy seas ahead, no doubt. But I'm trusting ye to steer us through to the other side. Though I had anticipated, though I did not foresee that Hilfir would be. But full glad that I am that he did. Would have been a shame to kill the boy. Instead, the whelp has learned a valuable. We have made peace ourselves. All that remains is to do likewise with our neighbors.
Now I need hardly tell you that any attempt to negotiate with the tribes is doomed to fail unless their minds will first be rest, rest from the grip of them. And so in the meeting we, we seek to arrange with the kobolds, I would have you free their leader and type of Titan's influence. Leave it to us. We will open the, his ears to reason. You have my thanks. There we proceed, there is something you should know. Some fifty years ago, when the Sahagans swarmed at our hulls in ever greater number, Limsa entered into a covenant with the Cobalt. The men shall go the bounty of the sea, Cobalt shall go the bounty of the land, ostensibly equitable arrangement, copiously lacking in. I, inadvertently also, wording was ambiguous, and we took advantage of it. Claimed the northern reaches of Lenosha, which the Kobolds believe theirs. Bloodshed followed, and bloodshed turns with the bloodshed, and so on and, and on and on it went. Till every ilm of Vilbrun bore the scar, pain of our conflict. This is not history, you are present, fresh and raw. If there is kindred's blood yet on our hands, we will struggle to regain the Kobold's trust, even though we cure their temper. Admiral, the de the s you speak of obstacles like to encounter at the meeting, but as things stand, I see no reason why the Kobolds would agree to a meeting in the first place. And so we must provide a reason. We will restore their stolen crystals and personally deliver the cargo. My apologies. Eight. They would welcome us with to speak of peace, but to have you at them. And given the wealth of crystals we bring, I wager that they'll attempt to summon Titan there. Meaning a high priest would need to be present. We could administer the key. Precisely. He is the fish I wish to, I would catch, but he will not be alone. He will have guards on him. They will lay down the lives to protect him. And yet a single death, Kobold's side, which jeopardize all chance at peace. They are my venture founders. Yet it need not. But if you were to employ the Conqueror's chain, though we would still have to weaken the Kobolds, it would allow us to subdue without inflicting that. But the artifact Mispir used, used to take goods at Life. Death. Sun Marshal. So, friends, what think you of our step? The effects of temporary in our community. We must safely assume that the high priest explosion to primal incentive. We will therefore take a greater deal of ether to X time. Time during which Alize defends us, even should we all look to your protection, we are convinced we can keep the entire army. Well, I'm happy to take that risk. Not, not as if we have any other choice. Besides, it's what Tesline would do. And had I not followed her example, we wouldn't have even have wouldn't even have a cure for tempering, much less a chance to bring peace to Silbrin. No, I'm going to cure that priest, or die trying. I believe in you and Ali's egg. And I believe in you too, you and everyone. Keep me safe. It is settled then. Eat your preparations and make for Camp Overlook. Join you there anon. This part was so special for me. I got to go on a mission with my husband. It was so great. Anyway. It, and all that whole whole marrying Enzar thing was uh, all before I even saw this. Just gave me. It was 
it was before Hullbreaker Isle Hard where I got to fight him. It got so. Yeah, under no apprehension, the, the extent of High Priest Tamarine is like to all succeed that of Gavu. But then he has a relatively mild case, milder indeed than the majority of those who wish to save. Coming mission be through a test of the I have no doubt that Alize was succeed with gear, and but a fort of the time. Elfino was in line when she said, said I'll be defenseless. I'm counting on you all to give me the time I need. Our sole purpose will be to keep you out of harm's way, so leave it th leave that to us if Indeed, and should you want for either Abu Abu You follow us here. There's some more important I want to say to the high priest. For a state sake. Please let me come with you, please. I'm sorry, but it's too dangerous. I need you to promise me that you'll stay here with faithful, right? My apologies for the wait. Took time, but we have secured our audience. All unfolded as expected. Mentioned my returning their crystals. In person, the kobolds suddenly remembered how keen they were to be reconciled. And so the glorious spirit of cooperation we are to be received by Patriarch Zadar of the Second Order, who awaits our pleasure in the naval. If you are ready, let us proceed to the Ugar Moro mines at Out. Here's the trick. Easier to navigate. To fly through your on a small chocobo. Here we are. Oh, wait, before I do that. Let me talk to everybody. Okay, I want to talk to everybody first. First, Enzar. The Conqueror Exchange sounds ready. Well, but weakening your foes. Will, um, but weakening your foes. And we'll see them. So but weaken your foes. Nothing more the same. I'm going to do this. Abu, Asleen, anyone who's ever dreamed of a better future. I think say will be can be forgiven for a certain amount of recklessness, but if she goes so far as to contemplate sacrificing herself, I'll remind her how she responded when I thought to do the same. Now that we will let it come to that, of course. Ready when you are, my friend. Petrak Zadar. The name sounds familiar. It is because he was the one who presided over the deaths of Abu's parents. I tried to reach out to him that day, only for please to fall upon death ears. This day will be different. Reach together, out together, all of us. Take peace. This Aetherite will bear us to our quarry. Should we he make to summon Titan as I anticipate, we will halt the ceremony and restrain him. At this, all hells will break loose, and we'll have an army of kobolds to entertain until Alize's work is done. Just remember, no one must die. In them, let Enzar do. 
It's time. Stay the course, my friends. I spy by common waters on the Greetings, Patriarch. I am Merlwib Lufisvin, Admiral of Limsa Leminsa. I come before you to offer my sincerest apologies for the many wrongs committed by my people against you and yours. <laughs> you were foolish to come here. Stupid, unwise foolish. The Great Father shall have your souls for your folly. Aye, just as we thought. Now, Alize, quickly! You don't need to tell me! Let none pass. We must grant her as much time as we can. I'm beginning the incantation. Go six to harm the Patriarch with vile magic. Kill her, slaughter, snake, ill. We must protect Alizé. You're in my sights. This is only the beginning. Ah, oh, this temporary is yeah. Didn't finish the job. The one person's ether alone is not enough. Oh, just what we need. You're not alone. And Alize, are you there? Here you are, Alize.
This is one of them spread out and pull them off. More! I need more ether! Okay, I didn't understand that one. Just a little more! Who in hell is this too many? It's me, stand clear, all of you. Inzar! Ah! All the reckless things, how do you say now is your chance? Well, I'm pleased at this left. Guys, please lend me a hand. Too dangerous. I made my decision before I came here. No matter what it costs me, them some will have peace. Just a little more ether. Just a little more and finish. Yes, this will do. Here I go. Did it work? What? Yeah. 
What is the meaning of this? I'm sorry, but they died by your hand. You sacrificed them to summon Titan. Would that there were a cure for the victims of the Tempered. Gaboo! What are you doing here? Patriarch! Please listen to me! Hear! Heed! Listen! summoning is false. He only hurts us and those we love. For a long time, his voice filled my mind. He told me to do terrible things. Awful, unspeakable, terrible things. But I didn't give in to it. And you mustn't either. There's been too much pain already. So please... End the suffering! What... what have I done? We share this child's desire, Patriarch. An end to summoning. For it spells naught but misery for both our peoples. For many long years, man and kobold have feuded over territory, pillaging and perishing for the earth beneath our feet. It may be said that we fought to survive, but what we have sown in blood, we have reaped in suffering, and it cannot go on. I would see us set aside the past and work together for peace. It was wrong of me to hurt my own in the name of the Great Father. Sinful, evil, wrong. But that doesn't mean there can be peace between us. Men cannot be trusted! The bounty of the land was to be ours, and yours the bounty of the sea! But you broke the pact! Violated, breached, broke! Unready as we were! What choice had we but to call upon the Divine to rid ourselves of your tyranny? None, and I do not blame you for it. In violation of the spirit, if not the letter of the pact, we took your lands for our own. The fault lies wholly with us. On behalf of all Lamincens, I offer you my humblest apology. I pray you'll find it in your heart to accept it. Yet I know an apology alone will not serve to make things right. So, we will revise the pact to leave no room for doubt, and any who violate it shall face justice swift and certain. No, we won't be fooled. Not again. 
Please, hear me to the end. Fleeting though it was, there was a time when man and kobold abided together in harmony, in cooperation. In those days, your people shared the secrets of smelting. Knowledge which allowed Limsa Laminsa to thrive. Much of what we have, we owe to the kobolds. And so, for the good of all who dwell on this isle, I wish to make you an offer. We will bear your people's wares to every corner of the world and trade them in your stead. In return, we will bring you the bounty, not only of the sea, but lands both near and far. Whatever you desire, the Navigator as my witness, you shall have it. There will be no more man and beastmen, just the crew of the great ship that is Vilbrand. And together, we will share in the wealth of the world, if you'll only accept our hand in friendship. We want to believe you. We truly do. But we believed you before and you betrayed us. Fool, deceived, betrayed us! There are bad men, it's true. But there are also good ones. And the ones before you are the best of them. They were always kind to me. Caring, nice, kind, and I trust them with my life. Before I became Admiral, I was a pirate. I stole. I fought. I stained the sea red with blood. Such is my past, and I dare not forget it, however much I might want to. That is death penalty. The pistol I used to pass judgment on my own sire when he fell thrall to Leviathan and betrayed his comrades. It's loaded. If you were to point it at my head and pull the trigger, I would most assuredly die. Though it isn't much, my life is the single most valuable thing I possess. If it will suffice to atone for past wrongs, take it. A single bullet to annul the old pact and my blood to write it anew. What comes after, I entrust to this man, my second in command. I know that he will do his utmost for the happiness of all who call Vilbrand home.
I do not trust you. Not yet. But Gabu does. And I will trust him. We want you to know that we respect your faith. There's nothing wrong with giving thanks to the land which sustains you. But summoning is different. Should you hear of anyone who would attempt it, we ask that you appeal to their better judgment. Or failing that, seek our aid. We're always ready to help. Many and more of my brethren are yet enthralled to the Great Father, just as I was. If you could free them too, I would be grateful. Appreciative, thankful, grateful. Tis we who should be grateful, Patriarch. I thank you for affording us this chance. This scene we found our way, way forward with the kobold. Next we will help the Second Order to free their tempered brethren and thrall them. Theirs is far from the only order, of course, and that we will take no small amount of time and effort to reach the rest. We will, however long it takes. I would say that I was in your debt, but that has long been true. So instead, I will say thank you. Helping us to plot a new course, not only for Limsa Liminsa, for all ill. Judging by the <clears throat> compliments, my bad plaints, my making, they have overreached myself. I'd like us to be able to help you out with that. Save the moment, lad. Ask and wait. If, we, if I would befriend you all, then surely all the kobolds be, can befriend Ben too. I'll do everything I can to help them, facilitate, assist, help. Abu is wise beyond his years. Is all very well. Is all very well. Leaders sign. It's all very well. Leaders signing peace treaties. All very well, leaders signing peace treaties, but it falls to individuals to bridge the gap. But they say we we'll, they could all do with it. Please say not least of all, given the amount of visa she right. right. Let's return to the rising stones. Admiral, something strange is afoot at the floating city. Breathe, man. What is it? I think it's best you see for yourself. What in the world is that? A tower? 
You can see it too, then. I feared I was losing my wits. One moment I was patrolling, as usual, and the next it was just... there! Yes? This is she. I am. I... I'm looking at it. What? Understood. Send the Elder Seed Seer my regards. The communications officer. It seems this isn't the only tower. They've sprung up all across Eorzea. Nothing more is known, only that they appear to be of Garlean construction. Our allies on the Alamegan front are on highest alert. Forgive my directness, but would you join them? They may well need the help. Of course, Admiral. We shall make all haste. My thanks. I will return to Limsa to weigh our response. Look for Commander Hext when you arrive in Alamigo, and may the Navigator speed you on your way. Time to go to the Alamegan court. No way. We split our mouths to friends. And we will be free to deal with the latest problem. Or uninvited him to our laps. It is to be business as usual inside the city, but at least you'll be able to tell us if there are any developments without. Oh, it is invisible from here. The locals support that tower like structure. Oh. Thank you for coming so soon. I'll send for Commander Aldin at once, and we can decide what to do about these infernal towers. Ah, Roka Preserve! It can't be! The palace! After them! You're here, good. Well, well, well! To be received by such an illustrious cast! <gasps> Why? Even the hero of the peace is here! I feel quite starstruck. Is that... Asahi? His body more like. You don't fool us. Oh! You saw straight through it. Anyone would think you dealt with Asians before. Permit me to introduce myself. I am Fan Daniel. And may I say what a pleasure it is to finally make your acquaintance. Hours, what are they for? 
My! Straight to business, is it? Suit yourself. It is my intention to recreate the final days. To which end I have distributed a collection of rather ingenious devices, or towers, which will, in time, give rise to the grandest of spectacles. The final days? But it was the Asians who laboured to prevent them. You're quite right! Though I would expect no less from one responsible for eliminating my unsundered colleagues. Honestly, the three of them were obsessed with restoring the one true world. As a sovereign individual, however, I never had much interest in such things. I mean, why bother when you're just another sundered minion? Admittedly, Elidibus was not convinced by that argument. But thanks to you, I'm finally free of his incessant nagging. Free to use my powers as I see fit, to fulfill my heart's desire. And my heart's desire is to lay this half-broken world to waste, leaving nary a fleck of dust behind! What? Why would you want such a thing? Because I want wretched creatures who ask such meaningless questions to die! You! And you! And you! I want you all to die! And I want to die too! Oh yes! I want to die and take everyone with me in a paroxysm of pain and suffering! In other words, he's completely insane. I'm different, you see. From the ancients who clung to dear life and from you. So don't bother trying to reason with me. You will find I have no reason, or creed, or any such tripe. I just want to destroy the world. But please do resist with all your might. It will add to my enjoyment. Now then, ladies and gentlemen, keep your eyes peeled, for the curtains have risen on the spectacle to end all Spectacles! We, the Telophoroi, shall be your performers and this very star our stage. But I nearly forgot. I have a message for you. <clears throat> My esteemed patron, Lord Xenos, eagerly awaits you at the heart of the chaos. While I wish only to destroy the world, he exists solely to relive a certain, hmm, transcendent moment with you. And it is for that reason he would reduce all to ash. Pray see to it his dreams do not go unfulfilled, for if you should disappoint him, my trusty companion here, whom I've dubbed Luna Bahamut, will burn your cities and everyone in them. Everyone out! My men will tend to the blaze.
Thank goodness everyone is safe. We managed to put out the fire, though not quickly enough to get, save the garden. Ravon, can I leave it to you to send word to the Alliance? I'm going to take a unit. I'm going to take a unit and investigate the tower. We need to find out what it's for. We'll go with you. No, you won't. You'll rest. And what Merweb tells me, you're due with some time off. Should you learn anything about... Well, should we learn anything about the tower, we'll be sure to share it with you. Till then, I want you to rest. Very well. If you need your help, don't hesitate. Take care. Oh, you're back. Good. We received the reports from the Alliance. Since we are, we are all here, perhaps those who have bore witness to the events in El Amigo can treat the rest of us to a first-hand account. Position. No sooner do we overcome one problem than another appears. It all seem to it's the particular endless victory. A variety of our foes. And Daniel sounds very, sounds even more unhinged, patron. Hinged, perhaps, but no fool. For all his pantomime theatrics, he gave away, gave away little about his plot. We know only that he intends to recreate the final days, and that the towers will somehow succeed. He also called his dragon Luna Bahamut. Not forget the little that uh, little tail. And the creature did resemble the description in the Elgo Primal. That may be, but the fact that it answered to Van Daniel was just the they are not one in the same entity. I think it's more probable that it's some manner of simulacrum born of it. Whatever it is, for now we can but work closely with the Alliance and remain vigilant. I believe that concludes our news. What have yours, Yush? I have been to see the Sultana. Knowing how quick, quickly immortal frames are to dispose of their temper, I judge to best to provide them with a cure for As soon as I had sufficiently recovered, I traveled to Ulda and discovered the port with the proxies to her grace, along with detailed instructions. Yet my first ch chance to coincide with the arrival of other troubling titans. Lord of Fames had been on the cusp of agreeing to a truce with the Amalja. Negotiations abruptly collapsed. The Amalja claimed that a number of their kind had been abducted, that men, men are responsible. Not as known as the perpetrators, as, but as the Immortal Flames went about investigating the abduction on one of Vendalian's powers. On the subject of the towers, we may be interested to learn that they are not an exclusive aid an army. According to the Alliance, they have been sighted as far afield as Yangsha. Then it would seem to assume that they are everywhere. I've not found them. Well, as you said yourself, we can do little for now. Now save for being vigilant. And since we are dealing with the dragon, obtensively at least, if we would move us to enlist the age of an Portian. Estinian. Estinian? Now, just a moment. If you could be persuaded to lend us this lance, I would be to welcome it. Is we will struggle to even find him. <laughs> but me and Cryle worry about that. 
he said, not no matter where he's hiding. If indeed he is hiding, we have ways of locating him regardless. So if there are no objections, I'll depart at once. Those two are scary. Well, Lady Brown, I think, might, might go to each of the city-states and educate them on the use of I would doubtless appreciate that, but might you consider taking a moment to rest before? Special for the task ahead. Well, my friend, a moment of triumph did not last long. Eh, twist over the way. Here, can you not join our adventure? Come now, I didn't say that. Well, it may not be the most carefree experience. Other do, then write a new future. Long future. Whatever the Talafroi might, might hope. Up them. Woke week. Everything's all the same accent. Meanwhile, somewhere in the locks. This camp should have been back by now. I'm going to go and find them. Oh, thank goodness for that. Meanwhile, in the Imperial Palace. As long as he's just been sitting there. The piles have been driven as planned. And the first of the beasts has roared to life. Moreover, I am pleased to report that preparations are well underway for the rest. Ere long, chaos shall reign over all the land, as befits the final days. Call it what you will, so long as my friend returns to me, fangs bared and claws sharpened, I care not. Of course, my lord. By strange coincidence, your dear friend chanced to be present when I made my declaration. I took the liberty of informing him that you await his coming, though I confess I may have singed him a little in the process. And why do you tell me this? Are you in such a hurry to die? Ah, my apologies. I must guard my tongue lest it be the end of me. Though, there is something to be said for such a glorious death. Better to fall to one who has it all than falter before an inferior. Huh. I shall keep it in mind as a contingency. For now, however, I shall proceed with the plan. My lord.
I must find myself a new weapon. One worthy of our long-awaited reunion. I need a new job. Samurai does not seem to befit me anymore. Well, that's the end of uh, part 5.4. We have 5.5. We'll do that next Saturday. Today was an interesting day. I threw all of 5.4. Faster than normal. Less time, but I took a lot of time. Also, Taking out a little lot of work out of me. Hot. So we'll cut it for today. See you next Saturday. Where we might wrap up the MSQ, which probably means I should probably really be tough in order to get. I wanna see the uh this so all these job quests all of them every single obviously there'll be something where it's like I mean, that's going to take time to do, so I do the stuff that I actually have done as I'm like where I can finish. Hopefully, with all hopes, by November when Walker comes out, I'll have them all done. Be caught up, and then I'll just be bullshitty. I'll back over to Warcraft or pick up where it left. In any case, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Sorry about the difficulties. Oh, the good one. And the